So you're thinking about coming back and joining us here at the building for our worship assemblies. We're thankful that you uh, feel like you're getting to the point that you can be safe in doing that. But again, we pray that you'll be as careful as you need to be and feel as safe as you need to be. We want you to know that our practices that we've enacted have uh, helped everyone who's come to the assembly feel like they are very safe. And again, we have attempted and have been able to uh, abide by Governor Abbott's guidelines for churches who are gathering. So before you come, we want you to take one more look at the video that's going to follow that'll just kind of give you the details on some of the things that are a little more unique about the way we're getting together and the practices that we're following to be able to stay safe and stay in compliance. The elders would like to stress to all those who are at the state high risk categories to continue to stay home and enjoy our wonderful live stream worship. In addition, there will be some of you who want to wait a little longer before gathering. We affirm you this decision is, is fine and we appreciate your caution. In addition to those in the high risk categories, we ask that you stay home if any of your family or group has a temperature higher than 99.9, .9, cold or flu symptoms. While we will do our best to meet the state's guidelines for church assembly, there will still be some risk of exposure. First, we are asking that everyone take their temperature no more than an hour before you arrive at church to ensure that no one is running a fever of over 99.9 .9 degrees. And while no one is required to do so, you are welcome to wear a mask to the worship assembly. Second, we ask that everyone enter only through the Welcome Center. And before you come in, please disable the Wi-Fi on your cell phone or on any portable device that you bring. We want to save as much of our bandwidth to make sure that our live stream gets out good and strong for everyone who's watching in that way. Finally, when you enter the Welcome Center, we ask that you use the hand sanitizer that will be conveniently located at the doors. Then, as you come through the Welcome Center, there will be greeters and ushers who will welcome you and hand you a caring and sharing. They will also direct you to the self-contained communion sets to pick up and hold until the proper time in the service. There will be more on that later. Finally, we ask you not assemble in the Welcome Center, but instead head on into the auditorium. As requested, family groups and those who came together are expected to sit two seats apart. When you get to your seats, feel free to visit with those around you. We want you to know that everyone who is volunteering or will be a greeter as an usher will have their temperature taken and recorded as well as being required to sanitize their hands as they enter the building. They also be wearing masks for, their, for your protection and theirs. Okay, third, while most of our hallways and classrooms will not be accessible, the bathrooms will be available for use. Those doors will be propped open and left open for your convenience, so no hands are being pushed or opening the doors when entering or exiting. Fourth, families with children of any age will remain together before, during, and after service. That means you will be asked to keep your children with you until you exit the building. If you need to leave with a child during a service, the classrooms along the main hall will be available for single use. No one else will be with you and no one else will use the room until it is cleaned during the week. Also, at this point, there will not be stage two praise kids or limitless kids but we hope to have a safe and sanitary way to begin those Kids for Christ programs as soon as possible. But each week there will be a recorded kids talk and we will have a children's worship handout with your caring and sharing. There will also be provided a small set of crayons for this and we ask that your families bring back them each week. Fifth, there will be a few changes to our normal worship routine. Some examples include as we mentioned earlier, on your way into the auditorium, you're going to pick up a self-contained communion set. You peel off the top layer and the bread is in the top and then there's another peel to get down to the juice inside. 
We don't want to pass plates, and you can understand the reason why. However, if there is any reason your conscience is concerned about this method, you can pick up a pack of traditional communion supplies if you need them and partake at home. Along this same line, another item will be that there'll be no passing of a plate for a collection. Instead, this box, which we've used for several other things before, will be in the foyer for you to place your donations in. Please, if you're going to give cash, take one of the envelopes that will be on the seats and put it in that, that envelope before depositing it in the box. Also, our kids' gift bucket will be in the foyer for those do their donations. Of course, you are welcome to continue to either mail your checks or do digital donations. And again, we cannot express enough our gratitude for your support during this very challenging time. Thanks. As you know, lately, for the last few weeks, you have been uh, watching us live stream. The live stream broadcast will continue going forward. There is a lot of effort that is happening here. Where I'm at right here right now, this is where David Gay sits. A lot of our slides and the music that you see on your screen at home, this is where this is put together and presented to you so we can enjoy singing together. Right here, we also, the video that you get, Hutch Hewitt is the person who runs our cameras for us and the efforts that, that go there and uh, what we need to put on the screen and the clear picture that you get, this is where all that effort comes from. Then over here, this nightmare of a board is uh, our sound. Uh, Mike Wunderlich is our person who has been running this board for us. And uh, we just appreciate really what all the audio visual people have been doing. These efforts will continue as we move forward. So on our services, as we come back together, you're gonna see some things that may be just a little bit different. As you know, during this pandemic, worshiping has been somewhat different. As you look and see, our building has been pretty vacant. Uh, we have about eight to 10 of us who are here on Sundays and Wednesdays working on worship that we are going to be streaming out to you to, to watch. Uh, as you can see, we have microphones set up. Uh, these are a little bit different than what we normally use. Uh, it mixes our voices a whole lot better and sounds the quality that you hear at home is much improved as you have seen over the last couple weeks. As we move forward, uh, you will see some of the things that we have been doing continuing. We will continue to have some videos of people who are maybe lead, leading in prayer, uh, who are not able to be here, and, and so that's gonna be shown on the screen. Also, our singers will be positioned a little bit different uh, when you come to worship here, so we can continue our live stream efforts and the quality of that message going out. We have really enjoyed worshiping with each other here, but we also have enjoyed the comments and suggestions that you have given us over this past few weeks. Sixth, we will not be able to serve coffee at this time and you will not be able to drink water from the water fountain, but you are welcome to bring a bottled water with you to have in the assembly. Seventh, and to your relief, we're getting to the end here. When the service concludes, we will quickly dismiss row by row to exit. And when you're dismissed, we ask that you head directly uh, out the doors of the Welcome Center. We are doing this again to continue to respect the state suggested physical distancing guidelines for church gatherings. However, once outside with more space to spread out, feel free to fellowship and visit as you wish, again, while still practicing that safe physical distancing. In case of rain, unfortunately, we will still need for folks to move out fairly quickly as we can't really let people buy, uh, get backed up in the Welcome Center. Again, thank you very much for your patience in going through this with us. We hope it's been informative. I really appreciate the elders putting the effort into coming up with a good plan for us as we move forward. Again, thankful to Governor Abbott and his courage in opening things up. Well, thanks for listening to all that. We appreciate that you're considering coming back to join us. We're really looking forward to the day that we can all feel 
good and feel safe about getting back together as one big church family.